Okay, now it's recorded. So a matrix, if we start from the, the definitions, um, it's how we arrange a numbers in a, in a arranged way. That is, we can write, uh, there is a row, okay? And there is a column, okay? And this number here, one, 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 two, one, n, it means that uh, it's row and column. Okay, so this means that row one, column one. Okay, and then this means row two, column one. So column one, column two, column three, row one, two, three, and so on and so forth until we say some n or an n for row and uh, column. And uh, what is the application? Why do we need matrix? Anyone have a Idea? Why? Why? Why we need metrics? Easy to calculate. Easy to calculate one, especially you calculate what? So if we look at this space, okay, and if we are going to, I think it's it, it's 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 really good. Uh, we have a square here, right? So if we pinpoint like if, if on every point as a dot. And then we projected this to the whole space. Can you see that we can also pinpoint everything like a dot? Mm -hmm. And we can easily calculate factors. So there, there is one application. So matrix could help us to arrange a factors. Okay. So we can write vectors in terms of Let's say um, we can write as a horizontal or vertical arrays. So we can write something like this. Or And of course, if we are having like a more and more factors, more than one factor, and then somehow we can also input all the factors, and maybe they have some relation, and we can put into the system of equations, then we can put all the factors inside here. And it's much more convenient to um, perform some operations. Okay, that's, that's the, the, the matrix. So this array called metric is what we call metric. So in a more general definition, is metric is any rectangular array of numbers or functions. And the size is determined by this M, uh, N, okay? So size. Hmm. Matrix size. So if you say matrix two by two, it means that the matrix, for example, two by two matrix is something that is maybe or three by three or four by four. And we say that if we have the uh, square matrix, for square matrix, we call this diagonal uh, or main diagonal. And this is only for for square because matrix can be rectangular, right? but this is for rect square matrix. We can have that. And as we mentioned, since we can arrange factor in a column or row factor, 
then we could write also a definition that is n by 1 matrix which we call the column factor and 1 by n matrix we call the row factor okay, m and n is a row and column row column maybe i will write write down here And then if the M and N, they are equal, we can say the matrix is equal. Okay, I think that is um, very simple. <clears throat> so equal means the size. Okay? So it means the size. is equal and of course if we want to add uh, two matrix let's say we have a and b we can just add uh, both of them and how we add them is basically for example if a is let just say the number is or if you want to make a random number, it's okay, but I will just take example to avoid mistake. So for uh, first half of the course, we are going to talk about matrix a lot. So you will, you will, you need to be familiar to write the whole thing and usually uh, the order for the matrix is 3 by 3 or more or sometimes 2 by 2 so you need to familiar yourself to write the whole thing like this so basically if we have A plus B so all positions in all co coordinates in the array system we are going to add for example 2 with 4 we are going to add and then negative 1 with, with 7 we are going to add okay so we are going to have for example in the top left 2 plus 4 is 6 and then the next one negative 1 plus 7 is 6 and then 3 minus 8 is minus 5 and then 0 plus 9 is 9 and then 4 plus 3 is 7 6 plus 5 is 11 and so on and so forth so I will complete this 9, negative 3. And then pretty simple, right? And remember, how to add this matrix is you need to make sure they have the same M by N matrix. Okay? So need to have the same here. Need to be equal. The size need to be equal. For example, if you have 3 by 3 and maybe this is 2 by 3 or 2 by 2, then we cannot add these two matrix. Okay, so the size needs to be equal. So my suggestion and advice for this first half of the course is you need to just familiarize yourself with the system. And then when the calculation happens, uh, please be careful and then help be cautious when you add something. It, it's, it's simple, but when you do some mistake, like at the beginning, maybe you need to do some operation on the matrix. If you do something wrong in the, in, the, in the first one, then the whole process will be also not correct. Okay, so you need to be uh, careful. Okay, that is the uh, matrix addition. Matrix also, we can multiply with the scalar uh, number. So let's say K is a number, a real number. Then we can multiply with the matrix, which means we are going to multiply all the numbers with K. Yeah, I think that is uh, quite intuitive. And you can also think that 
if we think this is like a vector, it's the same thing with vectors. Like we can just multiply with a constant and then we just multiply it inside. Like a system of equations, like you have maybe x plus 2y plus 3z and then you are multiplying with 5 or 6 and you just multiply all with the constant, okay? Okay, and then some other property for matrix addition and scalar multiplication. And I think this will be very intuitive as we, as we follow that all the matrices, A, B, C here, they are the same M by N matrix. So same size, they are equal, okay? And we can treat them like, a, like a ordinary numbers except that they they are they have the structure the array of structure arrangement of some numbers okay so we can just a plus b is the same if we just flip the uh, back, uh, the matrix and then it doesn't matter if we start b plus c first and then plus a or we start from a plus b first plus c because they are just ordinary addition okay mm -hmm. the same with scalar you want to uh, multiply both, or we can factorize one of this uh, constant, it's okay. Multiply one is just the same A, this is just uh, constant one. And then you can um, you can separate the matrix and multiply with the scalar, or the same thing with this one. Okay? You can also um, make it uh, K1 plus K2 and multiply. Okay? You can distribute uh, equally. So I think that is quite um, understandable. Okay, so the very first few course in, the, in this topic will be pretty much definitions, okay? Pretty much definitions. Now, the more, a little bit complicated one is the multiplications. So if we are going to multiply the matrix, the product, let's say we have matrix A and then we have matrix B. Okay. So it has uh, M rows and B columns. Okay. So M, B for matrix A. And then matrix B is P rows and N columns. So P, N. So it has different number of row, and uh, so M is different from P, and P is different from M, okay? So as long as we have that, so which means that the column P on the A is the same as a row P in, in, the, in B, okay? In the, uh, in the matrix B, so in A, B. So if they have the same P for the column and the row, then we can multiply them. So which means that we are going to set the row, multiply with the column. So the first row, the first column, here, okay? And then we are going to walk around. You can start from, let's say, row one. Okay? Row one, column one. Row one, column two row one, column three, and so on and so forth. And you will, you're going to fill in all the uh, points in the array system, okay? I think better for me just to give you a number. Or maybe before the number. The requirements, I will just write here, the requirements that you, that you need for these multiplications is basically a if we have a and a r m by b right and then we multiply with b this is b oh wait b p by n let's say we, we are going to have the result matrix C, and C should be on M 
by L. So this P is the same, and the result will be M by N. I think we can start with the uh, simple number. For example, let A and B so A, B um, so we can start from this row and this column. So we are going to take a product from these two. So if you remember the product, uh, the dot product in the vectors, this is um, similar, but it has an array arrangement. So we are going to have four by nine plus seven by six. Let me just write here. And then maybe we go for uh, another one. It's um, four four negative two and then plus seven by eight and here is three by nine plus five by six and this will be three by negative two plus five eight okay i'll just write this process just to for just um definition so 36 and 42 33 4 7 7 8 3 9 5 6 27 and 30 is 57 and 40 and negative 6 34 okay. 56 and 8 will be 48 Okay, let me arrange first. Okay, how about if we have BA? So BA, let me just write again. B is nine, six, negative two, eight. And then A is four, seven, three, five. So if we multiply, so row and column like that. So I will I will write the final result. So nine four thirty six minus six is thirty, and nine seven is um, sixty three minus ten is fifty three. Six four is twenty four. 24, 24 is 48, uh, 42, four, uh, 40, and 82. So you see that the A multiply B is not the same with B multiply A. And this is, uh, this will, will be very essential. Okay. So in multiplications, this is very, different from um, regular additions, okay? Oh. 
And for example, if I have another example here, let me just write again in sample. Another example is <coughs> let A is, uh, let me check, 581027. We have this matrix. So it's not square matrix. And we have B, which is square matrix. So this is three rows and two columns. So this is three by two, this is two by two. Of course, if you want to multiply A with B, for this the one on the right, it has two, it has two, so we can multiply them, right? So if you want to multiply A with B, we can do that. So we can write A multiply B. Okay, 4, negative 4, negative 20 plus 16, it's negative 4. Negative 15, and then negative 4, and then negative 3, and then negative 8 plus 14. 14 minus 8 is 6 and then negative 6. So we can do that, right? However, if we want, uh, let me make this smaller. If we want B multiply A, can we do that? So 2 by 2, multiply 3 by 2 since this is not the same the uh, column and row is not the same so it's not not defined it's because Column in B is not the same with row in A. But matrix for multiplications is associative, it mean, which means that as long as we have the order, for example, A multiply B multiply C, we can start with A, B, and then C, or we can start B, C, and then A. Okay? But we need to write in the order from left to right. And also, if we have A, B plus C like that, it's, it's, so this all is uh, matrix. We can write A, B plus A, C. Okay, this is also uh, another law that uh, we can follow up. Okay. Now another thing on matrix is we call the the something that is called the transpose. The transpose is if you see how we write the transpose. 
So look at this. It should be row and column, right? But we write the numbers 1, 1, 2, 1, okay? and then 3, 1, 4, 1. Okay? So 1 will, sh should be column, but now it's uh, we, we exchange row and column. Okay? And then 1, 2 is going down. So transpose is actually row become column, okay, and row, or column becomes row. So it's like let me write before here, okay? Let me like just to to give you a, an idea how we can transform this. So let's say A should be start from here one 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 two blah blah blah. 1n So this is the original matrix how we write the transpose is basically this flip to like that. Okay. So we flip this and it becomes this. And then the second one here, second uh, column becomes row. And then the third one and then so forth and so forth. And then the last one becomes the last row. Okay. So the column goes into the row. We call that a transpose. And the, we denote the transpose with this T, okay, A su uh, superscript uh, T. Okay. That's the transpose. For example, let me get you an example here. So if A is 9, 0, 4, Three, seven, five. The transpose of A, so remember, row become column or column become row. So nine three becomes here. Zero seven four five. Okay, the transpose. If you transpose again from here, transpose again, it will go back to the original one. Right. Okay. So, if you want to transpose again, like that, it's become original A. And the final properties for the transpose is on the right one. Okay. So, Suppose AB a matrix and K is a scalar. So if we transpose twice, then it will go back the original one. If we transpose after its addition, we can separate them and then transpose each matrix. Okay. If we have multiplications, it will be uh, very interesting here. If we transpose this, you can write B transpose A transpose because Basically, if you remember what we did in multiplication, usually we multiply the row with the column. Since transpose is changing everything, so we need to switch the order. So B transpose, A transpose. And then scalar, I think very simple. Scalar is a constant, so we can, we can factorize or we can just multiply with the So if we have three matrix for the transpose, for example, let me let me make this smaller. So if we have matrix A, matrix B with plus, and we transpose, it's Easy, we can separate and then each one of them we can transpose. But if we have multiplication A, 
B, C, and then we transpose. Then we flip the order. Okay, so we start from C, transpose, and then multiply with B, and then A, transpose. Okay. Okay, I wanted here. Is there any questions? Maybe something to discuss, no? I think this is just a definition. And not to I hope not to complicate it, right? <laughs> Actually linear linear algebra is I, I believe is not it's not really that uh, complicated. As long as you follow all the procedures, it will be okay. So we learn how to process numbers as a as a computers. Computers they process using metrics. Like for example, to a to to move something, maybe like a robot. I think some of you maybe. Uh, have works with the robotic equipment, no? Like a robot that has sensor for live followers or maybe crawling robots, right? How do we define the space like I did before like this? It has a point, right? And we can have the metrics. At least we can define some metrics to transform how to move or how to rotate. It's also using metrics, okay? and then that's the, the applications. Uh, this is some sort of mot uh, motivation for you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now is uh, wait wait. Before we go for the linear linear algebra, there are a few things that I forgot to mention. So. This is supposed to be special matrix. Or matrices, because there is more than one. So special matrices, first is we, what we call the, the zero matrix. So it could be like a one column like that, or matrix two by two or more okay and if matrix a and this matrix zero are uh, m by n then We can have this um, special cases, okay? And another one. I think we can skip the break because I think we can finish in ten to fifteen minutes. Is that okay? So this other one we call the triangular matrix. So at least for triangular, we can have upper, upper triangular, and lower triangular. What is triangular? Triangular is, let's say we have a, a matrix like this, okay? So we have one, two, in diagonal, eight. And then maybe we have two, three, one, uh, uh, one, five, four. And the other part is zero. So triangular matrix is a matrix that have one part of them, the triangle part is 
a0. So this one, we say this is the upper, so upper triangle there. So if we have the other part, then this, that will be the lower. So for example, I will write We'll just change the order so this will be the lower <clears throat> and then another special matrix is what we call the the diagonal matrix So diagonal matrix is, let me just write, and then the other part is zero. And then we have some variations for this diagonal we call the scalar matrix. Scalar matrix is diagonal matrix that are equal, for example. We have five, five, five. This is scalar matrix, which means that this five, 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 we can write as one, one, one diagonal. So that is the scalar matrix. And this one, 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 right here and this one 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 is we can write as the identity matrix let me write maybe let me write is going to be here so this will be identity matrix or simply we write as the symbol I. So identity matrix is every M by N matrix that has diagonal uh, one. So one, one, let's say we have zero, zero, and this is one. This is what we call identity matrix. For any M by N matrix A, so we are going to take the identity, this will be A and identity, oh, it's not equal, sorry, sorry, should be multiply. So basically, everything multiply with the identity will not uh, will be the same. It will be the same. And then we also have a n by n matrix is
we call symmetric if the A transpose is equal A. So if we transpose and it is still the same, then we call that as the symmetric. For example, we have one, two, seven, two, seven, five, six, six, four. So you'll notice that we have the same here, same here, same here. So if you transpose, this will be the same. So A is this, the same with the transpose. It will be the same one, two, seven, two, five, six, seven, six, four. They're the same. So that's all for the introduction of the matrix. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, I think I will just stop until here. <coughs> And we can continue the uh, next subtopics, which is we move to the system of linear equation or linear linear algebra equations. And basically, what we are going to do is we we will we are going to solve linear equations with matrix. Okay. Okay, any questions? <laughs> if not, then we finish with today. Is that okay? Is that okay?